What is good guys? Today, I'm gonna give you a full tour of the Family Mart convenience store here in Japan, which arguably is the second best convenience store here. First being 7-Eleven, of course, and that's the reason why we're here. I put out a 7-Eleven video. You guys were all asking about Family Mart, Lawson's, and other convenience stores in Japan, so I figured we're gonna do a full series on this, but before we get carried away, we're at Family Mart. Let's get out, take a look around, and show you guys everything as well. Guys, don't forget, drop a like and leave a comment of what you think of the place and if you can work out the key differences. Anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so before we go inside, something I noticed is this is this is not normal at all. This is totally weird and the only time that I've ever seen this, but they have an EV quick charging point here. So for your Teslas and other electric hybrid cars and things like that, you can charge your car at this family mart. Anyways, let's head inside and get this tour underway. So when we head inside and the doors open, you're gonna hear a, a song. There you go, you can hear that. <laughs> okay, so most convenience stores in Japan, they do start off with like the sanitary section. By the way, May's here. Hi, May. Cool. And you're also gonna have your magazines generally on this side too with your, your Google Play and iTunes cards. So I guess start back here, sanitary sections, kind of very similar to 7-Eleven. You got your like sweat body wipes and stuff, deodorants, um, makeup removers and things like that, and makeup, laundry detergent things. Um, you've got like your Febreze things there to get rid of bad odors because you know everyone who smokes like business wise it's very common a lot of people smoke in Japan so they got lots of that you know toiletries things like that and then so not every convenience stores has this but some do where you can get like basic medication for colds and coughs and things like that which is really good and helpful and this one's got the ice cream section here which is kind of weird because normally the ice cream section is like the last thing you do near the counter when you want to leave so it's kind of interesting but ice creams in japan there's only really oh wow they got chalk mint back in stock do they have that one that looks like a strawberry ice cream that's actually red bean that filled me once okay. there ah so this is actually a strawberry one because it has strawberries on it but there's another one that looks just like this without the strawberries there like that but it's actually red bean and uh, yeah, you'll spit it out faster than you can uh, put it in your mouth, that's for sure. Anyways, um, back over here, magazines and things like that. So, you know, your mangas and, uh, and like just generic magazines as well as adult things and stuff will be there. And then I guess it kind of, I mean, we could go through the drinks first, but let's check out the ends of the aisles. So, calorie mate, is that like, for people who like want to make sure that they're not eating too many calories, I'm oh. assuming. What is calorie mate? Balanced like food. Just an energy bar? Just an energy bar? Yeah. Balanced food? I can't really read any of that, but... Cool. Fun stuff. Oh, 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 we found it, we found it. So, that's the ice cream I was telling you about. See how it kind of looks like a strawberry... Strawberry ice block? Yeah, it's, it's not, guys. It's not. Okay, so heading into this aisle, which is the second one, we've got all of our ramens, instant ramens and noodles and stuff like that. Um, if you're looking for something that doesn't like taste too crazy extreme and normal, um, you can go with things like the chili tomato, the curries, the standard cup noodles, as well as you can try out some of these like uh, yakisoba UFO ones, they're pretty decent. Um, so I definitely recommend those ones. Definitely try those out if you're here in Japan. Um, these ones, unless you like extreme, extreme spicy food, don't give this a try, although it is good for a challenge. Uh, definitely amongst your friends to see if anyone can actually eat the whole thing without dying. These are extremely hot. Uh, and then on this side is obviously all the liquor and the alcohol section. Uh, these things here, little 100 yen, $1 for a mini cup of, um, uh, what, what, what's this called? What's the correct, like, I, it's sake, right? Like, so it's rice wine, but is there anything special? Uh, Let's get my official Japanese translator to check. Well, it's rice. It's rice wine? Rice wine. Yeah. And like, just the other day, right? I was in a convenience store where, um, actually it was this one. He bought this one and had that first thing in the morning. Oh, that's, that's Mugi Shochu. Mugi Shochu? Yeah, Shochu. Is there any reason why someone would be drinking that first thing in the morning at 5 a.m.? Like, that was his breakfast. He was just like, Asagoha, and like, downed it. Well, there you go. Need shots in the some people need it. shots to get, okay. Yeah. Uh, look, we can get socks here. You can get a navy striped um, sweat towel, I guess. 
Let's go handkerchiefs and things like that. Tissue boxes. Underwear. Underwear. You can buy underwear here. Navy check it underwear. All right, there you go. Okay, so these are kind of cool to talk about. Um, these are used for special occasions in Japan, like life-changing moments, whether it's like a wedding or a childbirth and things like that. And you're only supposed to put like money and like a, a nice little letter in these and you give them to people. So like if me and May had a child, your parents would give us something like this. We got lots of these on our wedding day, right? From family, my May's family side and stuff, which was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really cool because it's like this tradition here where you get all these pretty kind of things on this envelope. And if ever you get one of these, it's it's meant to have cash in it. So that's also like another thing too. Then you got your stationary stuff here, super glues and things like that. So you can glue fingers together and stuff and get pens and, oh look, there's a little mini one. That's so cute. This is okay. the one you can use for- uh, Ah, for maybe. university students. What's the holiday called for that? Like the time of year when parents give, isn't it just New Year's? Also, Akiyome? Also sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't need to be university students. It can be any kids, but isn't there an age when it stops once you that become full-time work? That, that really depends on the family. Oh, it depends on the family? In okay. My, in my family was still 20. Till 20? Okay. So once you turn 20 in May's family, no one got any money. But every year, at the end of the year, you guys would get money, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I like Japan. <laughs> uh, anyways, cat food. Why is cat food here? It's like lighters and cigarette stuff and batteries and then cat food. <laughs> Okay, family mart, you're a little bit weird. So yeah, some cat food and stuff here. Gardening gloves, cool. And then we flip back around. You got your curry packs, um, Tabasco sauce, mustard, salts, mayo. These are the funniest little mayo bottles. I don't know why, but I find, whoopsies. I find that mayo and like ketchup comes in these weird containers here in Japan. Sweet, so yeah, oh cool. You can buy like pasta and sorbet and stuff here. That's really cool. And this is the stuff that you buy in bulk, right? And that's how you make your miso soup. So that's like miso, you put that in there. It's good stuff. Okay, so I think we should definitely do all the drinks now before we move to the other aisle. But let's look at the end of this. Once again, same kind of thing here with like medicinal drinks and shots. So things like if you're feeling sick, you got C1000, vitamin lemon drinks and stuff like that. Um, fiber drinks, the anti hangover stuff's here. Bunch of crazy things. What is this one, May? This one with the flames. <laughs> You want to ask? What, what is it? What is it? It's Viagra. It's, oh, it's the Japanese Viagra? Okay, there you go. So next time uh, Chris Rudnick visits, I'll uh, make him drink that. I'll tell him it's, uh, it's uh, to stop him from getting sick. <laughs> That'll be funny, guys. It'll actually work, actually. It'll probably work as well, yeah. <laughs> um, starting off in, I guess, because we kind of looked at the... Uh, yeah, I mean, we did look at ice creams and stuff here because we saw the, the red bean one, but cups of ice and stuff are here. Plus, um, you get some frappes here in Family Mart. So chocolate frappes, strawberry frappes, um, frozen fruits. You've obviously got all your general, like, kind of sodas and energy drinks as well. One thing I do like about Family Mart is they tend to sell this drink called Lifeguard, which actually used to be a sponsor for, I think, D1 Lights back in the day, which was kind of cool. And then um, you've got like your waters, your teas, so cold teas, barley teas, wheat teas, green teas, all of that kind of stuff. Then your coffee stuff, so this is your chilled things. And look at that beautiful row of all the canned coffee that we love and know. And yeah, the bigger bottles and stuff as well. I do recommend the Craft Boss Latte, by the way, guys. Definitely check that out, that's kind of good. But the Georgia one's also nice as well. So just kind of like tried the two, they're pretty decent. Um, and then we're into like your Chew Highs, which is pretty much the really cheap kind of like soft drink based booze here in Japan. They're all like 9%. Um, so just be very careful with those, especially Aussies. I know that a lot of them come to Japan and have a couple of those and get a little bit crazy. Beer aisles. And that kind of, I guess, wraps up all of this and you got your wine down there as well. So now let's go to this aisle. Okay, so you're probably noticing a quality change. Unfortunately, the battery died in my G7X. I forgot the charger, it seems. So back onto this aisle, let's start here. Um, this is all like the things that go with everything in the drinking section over here. So like all the alcohol and stuff, this is what you buy for your beers and things. Um, so peanuts, jerkies and all that kind of weird stuff. You can get like, fish kind of dried out fish jerkies and things like that here it's kind of weird but it's actually okay these are really good this is like a dried out kind of pita bread thing um, there's lots of really cool things here but mainly um, just like things that just would freak you out in every other country you know what I mean 
All right, cool. So chips, uh, these are good. These are like little veggie sticks. They're like, uh, yeah, I don't know, I really know how to explain it. It's like pocky, but savory and vegetables. Uh, this is cheese, by the way. <laughs> um, so many quirky, weird things here that I just keep forgetting to take for granted. These snacks are really good too. It's like uh, soy snacks, like cracker, soy crackers wrapped up in seaweed. That's really good. Uh, man, the pizza chips are here. There's a lot of things. Oh, they even have these, which are like mock tofu flavored chip, which we saw at 7-Eleven. And this is just kind of like the chip section, I guess. Um, mate, this may look like chicken to us, but what is it? Potato. No, 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 no. I know it's potato, but the flavoring. This oh. looks like, like chicken flavoring to me. Oh, uh, uh. But what is it? Seaweed. It's seaweed and salt. So be careful um, when you buy those guys because, yeah, you will get a surprise. It's not the best flavor plate chip. Like, and what's this one? Is that the same? Seaweed? Yeah, that's the same one. Yeah, same see? One. See? And what about this one? Oh, that's pepper. That's pepper. Okay, yeah. it's green pepper apparently. Cool. All right, well, there you go. So, yeah, just be careful of chips that look like this. This is actually seaweed and it doesn't actually taste that great. Oh, wow. that looks really good. It's like steak. Wagyu. Oh, prawn crackers. Nice. Nice. And then behind here, Family Mart has their own brand of snacks too, which in all honesty don't compare at all to uh, 7-Eleven. They don't taste anywhere as great. But you can get all the generic stuff here, so like chips and things. Um, they don't have English on any of their branded stuff. So that's another reason why 7 eleven is better, is that they've gone bilingual and have English on all of their uh, made products. So that's kind of one thing that sort of sucks. And here you go, this is seaweed, right? Maybe this is a seaweed one? Yes. Yeah, sea, it's, it's seaweed. Koi, which means koi? like action. Oh yeah, that is, that's the kanji for koi no... No, koi me no... What's that one? D. 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 And that one, I can't read kanji. Shio. Shio. So nori is seaweed. Seaweed. Nori. Salt. And then what was that one? Shio. Salt. Salt. Nori, shio. Salt, seaweed salt. And the rest of them are all snacks and things like that. Usu shio. So light. Usu shio. Light. Light salt. Light salt. Oh no, that's shio. And that's the shio kanji there. No, 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 no. No? For aji. Aji. Where's the salt? Shio. Ah, oh, shio. Of course, because it's hiragana. It's not. That's the kanji for shio. Yeah. But that's the hiragana for shio. Eh, we're learning Japanese today. <laughs> All right, cool, so back into the chocolate snack section. Hey, you know what's really awesome about Pocky, guys? What you do is you get one of these and you put one end in your mouth and then you go up to your favorite girl and you go, do you want to play Pocky with me? And they're supposed to start eating at that end and you're supposed to meet in the middle. Yeah, that's what happens on 11-11, which is actually my birthday in Japan. The 11th of November is Pocky Day because it's a one 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 and it's singles day officially. And yeah, everyone's supposed to play Pocky on that day because that's also Pocky Day. Um, and yeah, kind of like generic snacks and chocolates and stuff. You can find some really quirky stuff here, like... Why did they call that brand Horn? <laughs> hey babe, are you horny for some horn? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> oh look, they got more peanuts and stuff. So yeah, more candy things and things. Like if, uh, these are really good for your dry throat, like a sore throat. These are pie chews. Um, sometimes the packaging doesn't actually have the English haichu then, it just looks like that, so just try and memorize this. Uh, and then a bunch more other things like that, lozenges, mentos, more haichus, look for the small haichu there if you can't read it. Um, but yeah, they always have really good colors. And then these, I don't like at all. They are like ones that have full of so many preservatives that they're always dry and kind of just like bleh. So I don't enjoy these, but what Family Mart is kind of famous for, is like the dessert section. So you can get like chocolate eclairs, good donuts and things. See, see, chocolate eclairs, like uh, cream and custard field puffs and stuff like that. It's really good. But you can also get yogurts and fruits. These little jello things are really good. Lots of cool stuff like that. Sometimes you can actually, in a lot of family marts, they'll have packages of fresh like pineapple and stuff that you can buy and eat, which is really good. Anyway, so let's walk around to the other side. But before we do that, let's look in the frozen food section. So this is for people that want to heat stuff up in their microwave at home, basic meals and stuff like that. Uh, this is octopus balls, literally takoyaki. Um, the best way to describe it is like a savory donut bowl with herbs and in the middle is a piece of octopus. Um, that's the best way to explain that. Okay, so we're in the refrigerated section now, which once again has like Starbucks themed um, like lattes and drinks and stuff. Wait, May, is this a pistachio latte? Yeah. 
What? Japanese I kind of almond milk. I get that, like cafe almond latte. I get that. That makes sense. By the way, these do not taste anything like Starbucks. They taste disgusting, and I do not know why Starbucks associate their brand with that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So cool kind of Starbucks things. Uh, Family Mart also sell these really good kind of like fruit smoothie kind of juice drinks that they're a little bit expensive. They're like four bucks, but they're actually amazing. Uh, so I definitely recommend those if you try it, especially the kiwi one's really good. But you can also get your milks, coffees, and things like that here, teas. Um, milk tea? Wow, I didn't know they had that. That's kind of handy. Um, moving along here, then milk. You can't screw this up because it says in English, milk, which is great. Um, so you can't accidentally get the yogurt one. That one there's the yogurt one. And uh, make a big mistake there like I did before. You can get your eggs and things like that. You can get fresh bananas, corn. Anyone want a wanna whole size corn? Oh, it's actually like designed so that you heat it up in the microwave. That's kind of handy. Ah, uh, natto. That's the Vegemite of Japan. Yo, this stuff is so creepy. What is this called? Konyaku. Konyaku. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't Interesting. Touch it too much. Okay. And then there's like weird noodles. I just want a poke or oh. It's also squishy. Okay. I'm gonna call him Squishy and I'm gonna love him forever. No, I'm kidding. All right, um, now see what I mean with the food section, they don't have much of a variety here, um, but you can still get like your chickens and salmons and stuff, your fake crab meat. This stuff's kind of weird. It's got like egg or something in the middle. I don't know what that is, um, but you can get hamburger, which is like a hamburger patty that you heat up in the microwave, which is kind of good. And then you get salads and things like that. Yeah, overall it's pretty, it's, I mean like, May, if you just take a step back so we can show everyone this. Like, that's all they have for their food section. And 7-Eleven had like an entire row like this full of different types of food. So that's what I mean where 7-Eleven wins. Plus, 7-Eleven doesn't use anywhere near as many like preservatives and things like that in their food. And as well as you can obviously read on 7-Eleven what the things are. Um, another good thing that family might have are like their tortilla pizza pocket things that they heat up in the microwave for you. Their sandwiches are also pretty good here. If I was to rate these sandwiches over 7-Eleven, I would say these are better. So yeah, and you can also get some of these. So it's weird, like every convenience store has their pros and cons, you know? Then you got your pun bread section, you get your loaves of bread and all that type of stuff. It's really good. I mean like, what's like katsu, egg, yakisoba, hot dogs, it's really cool. I know, these are my favorite here. It's like a little cake with just chopped chips in it. It's pretty safe. Yeah. And then, yeah, like I said, desserts and stuff like that are pretty good. So you can get like chocolate mousse things and tiramisu, other puddings and things like that. It's the biggest thing. Like the chocolate mousse is so good here. Oh my God, my mouth's watering. And that's kind of it. And like you got your hot drink section here with the cans of coffee and things like that that you love as well. Emerald Mountain Blend. It's one of my favorites at the moment. But yeah. You can also get uh, some of these uh, noodle salads that we saw last time as well. That's pretty much 7-Eleven. The only other thing is like on the ends here, you can get chewing gum and things like that, a little bit of candy. On this end is more chips and snacks and things like that. Um, one thing I did want to kind of talk about as well is not, uh, international ATMs are pretty much at all Family Marts and 7-Elevens now. You get a coffee machine and this machine is actually a big deal. This is how you can book tickets and things like that here. So if you wanna to go to the Studio Ghibli Museum, you use this machine to get your tickets, plus any other tickets and stuff like that. This is generally the machine you use. They're in Family Mart 7-Elevens and things like that. So um, some of them, they generally do have English buttons too, see? There you go. So you can order everything in English. And you can also del like send your shipments and deliveries from here as well, like within Japan with Yamato, Kuro Cat, and things like that. And you've got your coffee machine and these things too. When you get instant ramen, you just uh, fill them up with hot water straight out of those. And generally a lot of convenience stores these days also have a little area for you to sit down, but because it's late at night, it's like 11 p.m., that's all closed off. They also normally have their pork buns and meat buns and stuff in here, but like I said, it's late at night, so none of this is full right now. You get your fried chicken, spicy chicken, spicy fried chicken. Oh, they added English, that's so helpful now. Um, so yeah, these are really good to eat. If you're wanting a really good snack, get yourself one of these spicy fried chicken. And then if they have, all they do, you also get a plain rice onigiri, and you eat those two together, and it's the best thing ever. So take a bite of the chicken, take a bite of that, and it's awesome. Okay, so that kind of wraps up our tour here at Family Mart. This camera is probably gonna die again, 
Um, massive thank you to May saving me by letting me use her iPhone to shoot the rest of that. I need to be better prepared and charge, make sure my camera batteries are charged. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you thought about Family Mart. Do you think it was better than 7-Eleven or 7-Eleven was better? I'd like to hear your thoughts. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Ciao, Montaner.